A young girl in her prime, lying in the cold snow for three days and nights, frowning a life into a popsicle, waiting for the police to find her. But she was found to be a suicide. Frowning a life is one of the most painful ways to die. The girl was cheerful by nature and from a wealthy family. Why did she end her life so cruelly? The girl's name was Lucy. Her parents wanted to find out the truth, so they took her phone and computer. They found a data firm, hoping to find clues. Jack and Arian are the ones who accept this assignment. They first suspected that Lucy might have been subjected to school violence, but after decrypting her phone, they found it was full of pictures of her playing with her classmates. The video did not show signs of abuse, and in the video, Lucy was smiling innocently and romantically. It's not like she would commit suicide. This is where the trail broke down. Aryan decided to go to Lucy's school to check it out. Soon saw Lucy's girlfriends in the video, so she pretended to be a punk and provoked them. While running away, she took her girlfriend's cell phone. When we got to the office, we found a clue. Lucy's cell phone. A large part of Lucy's cell phone were pictures of her and her girlfriend playing. But in her girlfriend's phone, there was not even a single picture of Lucy in her cell phone. Of course, it could be that Lucy felt bad luck after her death. It was deleted. Keep looking and found another video. On the top floor of the school, the girlfriends are bullying a girl with long hair. They hit her with their shoes. They were clapping like crazy on her side. The girl already looks like she's in a state of despair. This video was taken two weeks ago. In order to avoid a tragedy, Jack hacked the school's student management system and found this girl's profile. She hadn't been to school in three days. The two of them had a bad feeling. They followed the address and went there. Sure enough, they found her on the roof of her house. The girl was standing on the rooftop of the 30th floor and was about to jump off. Arian tried to persuade her to calm down, but Jack said you don't want to jump at all. Look at your hands still clinging to the railing. Do you still want to live? A reverse operation has convinced the girl. In fact, she really did not want to die, but being bullied by the school bully every day, it really makes her suffer. And the bully is Lucy's best friend. Is it possible that Lucy's death was also forced by her best friend? The two of them invited their girlfriends to the office, using the bullying video on her phone as blackmail to make her tell the truth about Lucy's suicide. After all, she was still a schoolgirl. Under pressure, she finally let go. In fact, her relationship with Lucy was really good, but she had a crush on Lucy's boyfriend. And three months ago, he broke up with Lucy. She got together with a guy directly. In that case, Lucy committed suicide because she couldn't stand the emotional shock. That's why she killed herself. Her best friend denied it. Looking at the girl's sincere eyes, the two of them gradually dispelled their doubts. If not this incident, what else could it be? Lucy to end her life in an extremely cruel way. To end her life. Next, we can only crack the social accounts of the fool. A thorough search. And there it was. The girl had injected a private blood account, specifically for journaling. Boyfriend's breakup. The betrayal of her best friend. Full of negative emotions all in here to vent. And these words were also noticed by people who are interested. A friend named Kellen left a message for her. I understand how you feel. This world is really dirty. From this message, the two began to chat. At first, the other person pretended to be a kind-hearted man. To win Lucy's trust. Later. The other party directly asked Lucy for her parents and her best friend's email. And this is the key to open the door of hell. The uncle asked her, would you like to see some of the nastiest things in the world? The girl was curious to see, so the uncle asked for his parents' email address. A few minutes later the email was cracked. Then the girl saw the father's explicit chat with his female boss. She saw the intimate photos of her mother and her class teacher. The girl was devastated. It turned out that her happy family was all an illusion. Uncle asked her for the email addresses of all her classmates. So she saw again her boyfriend's secret photos in the girl's toilet. Girlfriends calling her green tea behind her back. What she once thought was beautiful behind the scenes. There was unbearable filth. Her spirit completely collapsed. She didn't want to step into this real and horrible world again. Let time stay forever in this clean moment. She chose to kill herself. The old man taught her that. She frowned see to death in the snow in the purest way. And that uncle, in fact, he was also a man who was abandoned by his family. He felt in his heart that the whole world is garbage. So he was devoted to inducing minors to commit suicide. Now that Lucy is dead, he wants to find his next target. The same thing again. Do you want to see the nastiest thing in the world? But this time the response was. I've seen enough. The old man was stunned. This is not the way it should be. Who is this guy? Will it take the bait? Pervert will eventually suffer. What kind of retribution? Here to leave you a little suspense. See you next time.